Hi, welcome to the Bench on Sova podcast. My name is Anna, but you can call me Anchi and I'm your host. Sometimes we all experience days when we don't feel good in our body and when we don't feel good in our skin. And these are days when we don't necessarily feel confident or like we're good enough. Sometimes I have days when I feel like shit just overall. Everything I touch, I screw up. I feel stupid, I feel ugly, I feel useless, I feel like an idiot. And then there are days when I feel like shit because of my appearance or because I don't feel good in my body. Those are days when I feel like nothing I wear looks good on me. I feel like I have the ugliest makeup and the ugliest hair in this world. And on those days I wonder why don't I look as perfect as other people. I think it's pretty normal to have these days to some extent as long as they don't occur too often. I personally sometimes go weeks without feeling shitty about myself. Other times I feel like that couple of days in a row. I think it's really individual but I believe it happens to most of us sometimes. But over the years I've built some tools in my personal toolbox for those days when I don't feel good in my own skin. And because it's something that many people deal with, I thought I would share a few things that I'm applying when I feel negative about my body. Please bear in mind that it's just something that works for me, so I'm not saying that it's gonna work for everyone or that's the right way how to do it. It's just what I found to be working for me. Hi there, my name is Anna, but you can call me Anchi, and I'm a host of the Binge on self podcast. If this is your first time listening, welcome and thank you so much for being here. And if you've tuned in before, it's great to have you back. Binge on self podcast started with me in my bedroom, recording and sharing my journey with binge eating disorder and with procrastination. But we are so much more than our eating disorder and we are so much more than our problems. So this podcast is essentially about accepting yourself and everything that comes with it. Growth, pain, relationships, boundaries, habits, comparison, body image, confidence, you name it. Plus, you'll catch me having some insightful conversations with fantastic guests who open up and share their stories. So make sure to subscribe to The Binge on Salvaf on your favorite platform and join me every Tuesday for a brand new episode. Binge on Salvaf podcast is intended for informational purposes only. It doesn't provide professional medical advice and it is not a substitute for diagnosis or treatment. Think number one is that I don't try to fight those feelings. I found it helpful not to fight those negative feelings that I have towards myself or my body, which may sound counterintuitive, but for me personally, I feel like trying to fight those negative feelings make me feel even worse. It may not be like that for you, but it is definitely like that for me. But the important thing here is that I don't try to fight those feelings, but I don't pick at them either. I don't ruminate on them, I don't dwell in them, I try not to really listen to them and I simply kind of let them be and try not to pay too much attention to them, which is obviously easier said than done, but I think that over time I got better at that. Dwelling on those feelings is not helpful in any way because I've learned over time that there's often no particular reason for why I feel shitty about my body or about myself. Sometimes it can be because I'm about to start my period. Sometimes it's when I want to wear something that emphasizes my shape or my curves but most of the times there's no real reason at all so I don't want to put that much energy into those feelings I try to let them pass I try to remind myself that these feelings are just temporary and I know they will pass and I know they don't mean anything 
This brings me to my next point, point number two, which is that on those days when I don't feel really good in my body, in my skin, and especially when I feel like that for multiple days in a row, I try to shift my focus from my body to something else. For example, I try to focus on work, I try to prepare more podcast episodes, I plan a date or a nice trip with my husband, or I listen to my favorite music or my favorite podcast, or I watch a movie or anything like that. But it really helps to do something that keeps your mind occupied and busy with something more interesting than dwelling on those negative feelings. Another important thing that I do is that on those days when I don't feel good in my body, I want to make myself feel as comfortable in my body as I possibly can. So I make sure to wear something that I feel comfortable in. I don't care whether my outfit is stylish or pretty or anything like that as long as I feel comfortable in it. It's also a reason why on those days when I don't really feel comfortable in my skin, I don't wear anything new or anything that I've never really worn before. Just because I really want to feel comfortable and I know if I wore something new, I would feel really self-conscious and I would not be sure if I feel good in it or not. And I don't want to feel any more self-conscious on those days. A thing number four that I do is that I work out, which may sound a little strange, but let me make it clear that I don't work out because I hate my body or because I want to change my body, but because of two reasons. One is that after a workout, I instantly feel better, obviously because of the endorphins flowing and I just simply feel much better overall and it helps to kind of push the negative feelings or emotions aside. And reason number two is that it kind of takes away the power from those thoughts about my body. Suddenly my body has a different purpose. It is working out, I have to focus on how I move my body and how many reps I've done or I don't know how fast or slow I'm running and it suddenly gives me a different perspective of my body and I don't feel that negativity anymore, if that makes sense. So I find that really helpful, whether that's going to the gym or going for a short run or a short walk. So just to clarify again, I don't work out because I don't like my body, but because I want to feel better and I also want to shift my perspective from the negativity towards something else. The last thing on my list is very, very important. And that's that I don't let those negative feelings affect the way I eat. I try to stick to my usual routine, to my plan, regardless of how I feel about my body. I try to remember myself as much as I can that food is fuel and I need to eat. And skipping meals or binge eating isn't going to help me in any way. If anything, it's only going to make me feel worse about myself. And I think this is really important to remind yourself because you don't want to let those negative feelings affect the way you eat or how much you eat or how often do you eat. Just because you wake up in the morning and you don't feel your best, it's not a reason to skip breakfast or because you feel insecure in your body, it doesn't mean you should have a salad for lunch if you crave something else. So these are a few things that I personally find helpful on days when I don't really feel good in my body. So let me sum it up for you real quick. Number one, I don't fight those feelings, but I don't pick at them either. I just try to let them pass and let them go and not pay too much attention to them. Number two, I try to focus my energy on something else. Number three, I wear clothes that I'm comfortable in. Number four, I move my body to feel better and to shift my perspective. And number five, I eat the same way that I do on any other day. Let me know what you think. What are some of the things that help you on those days? You can DM me on Instagram or on TikTok at Binge on Self Laugh, or you can send me an email at anci at bingeonselflove.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll be back next week with another episode. Until then, take care and talk to you soon. Thank you.